Little Me. This is a Daniel Torrenti stamp. Love his stamps. Just fantastic. Um, and then I had a piece of paper with some stars on it. Um, this just says Timeless. Um, an old picture. And again, this came from a Somerset or an art journaling um, magazine. This is a piece of uh, something I had used um, alcohol inks on. It's like a fabric. This is just a little piece of fabric that I'd put a bunch of stuff on, uh, a bunch of thread, leftover threads and stuff. And then just threw some more stuff down with a, one of those borders again. Um, this girl I found in a magazine, I thought she was cool. Same with the butterfly. Um, background actually came out of a magazine as well. I think this background goes with this lady. You see it's got the same blue. So I just used the pieces that I didn't want over here on the next page. Um, again, tore out the butterfly and all this says is free. Um, this was, I was, I'm not sure if it was me, I think I was. I was playing around with some stencils that I had just gotten. And this was one of them. And uh, I had done it on a colored piece of book text and I just, eh, it's wings. This one's just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. This one, this is a container um, that I decided to make into something for this guy to sit on. Same with this. It was some type of a, these are out of magazines, containers out of magazines. Then I had these two little birds and then I had this round thing that was with the little birds and I thought, what the heck. And I just put friends on here. And again, this is a background. This is a scrap piece of paper I had put paint on for some reason. Um, could have been a jelly print, who knows. So there's friends. This one, Techniques. Um, this, all of these paint brushes came from a piece of paper from Canvas Corp, um, which was really cool. It's, um, and I just took them, cut them all out, and then I put a little bit of purple. You can't really see a whole lot. This is some old book text. Um, this is mixed media. This, see, they're getting bent up, and that's from traveling, because um, I actually had these on my last vacation that I went on. So the corners get bungled up when I throw them in my bag. So it just says techniques, discover our secret, and mixed media. And again, this came off some type of a packaging. Uh, Might have been a Diane Reevely packaging, not positive. Or a Dina Wakely, I don't know. I just know it came off a of packaging. So mixed media is that one. <laughs> attitude um, this uh, this piece of paper right here is one of the very first uh, mixed media I ever did which was like back in 2013 and at the time I had just purchased the Diane Reevely sprays and I had um, a book a, um, a mixed media paper book and I was having a ball with the stamps and the sprays and and you know it's funny I have a lot of these left that I haven't really done a lot with um, but I stuck it in here this is just an odd piece of paper that was in the book um, this is the Diane Reevely stamp the the leaf stamps and there's my phone so give me just a minute sorry guys sorry about that guys and yeah it's still morning I'm still working on my coffee all right, so um, so I was saying, you know, these are the stamps, Diane Ravely stamps. This stamp, I don't know the brand. I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't know, but I love this little lady. I thought she was cool, and this actually says "Beauty is all around," and there's a little butterfly. But this pa this piece of paper was originally like that. It doesn't matter. It's attitude. It's fun. Why not? Um, this is actually a piece of a picture out of a magazine that is uh, a placemat. I don't know if you can see that's got little fringes here. I just decided to cut it out and make it a body for this head. This came out of a flow magazine. This B, I have no idea where it came from. Um, and this just says joy. And it's funny, you'll notice some of the pages in my glue books are pretty bare in some ways versus really you know doodled on and whatever in other ways and it's just I do what I feel what I'm in the mood to do and there's again there's no rules there's I just have fun 
Um, this guy is a Tim Holtz stamp. I absolutely love these. This is actually a diamond uh, ring that was in a magazine that I cut out. Um, and just so you guys know, I don't, um, while I sit and do these glue books, cut things out. I already have stuff cut out. I, I've got folders of backgrounds and men and women and children and houses and whatever. So they're all separated. I just happen to take a few of each, throw them in a plastic bag, which I don't have right here, and take them with me. And then I just work from those. So, um, Tim Holtz stamp. This stamp here, I can't remember who did it. Um, but again, this is a piece of one of those papers, like I showed you back here, that when I very first started doing um, mixed media. And then a butterfly that I had punched out from something, and this just says reality. <laughs> I love him. I love what I did to his lips. Can you see his lips? Let me show you. <laughs> He's just cute. I love him. I don't know why it's a he, but it is. It's a he. He's cute. <laughs> um... This, again, this is just uh, magazine cutouts. Um, this is a Diane Reevely heart, I believe, that was stamped that I cut out. This is from, a, I think, a Somerset magazine or an art journaling magazine, this picture here. Then I stuck this fun on here, these little eyeballs, I don't know, and a heart. Just because. It was cool. Um, this is a die cut. Um, this is also a die cut. These are, um, I take... It, there's sometimes at night if I when I'm sitting watching a show um, hang on just a minute I'm sorry all right so this is like I said this is die cut sometimes at night when I'm watching um, TV shows or um, a football game which is what I love to watch sports I will take a dictionary and I will sit out in a chair and I just doodle and then I'll take um, either a Tombow marker or some type of a water soluble marker and then I'll just color them in. So that's what this is. And then it just says me. I don't know. It's good. Um, this is just a Mod Podge. I got some leftover painted papers here. Actually, this was made on... I think you guys have seen it before. I have a great big huge book that I take all my scraps and I glue them down in. And then I, when they're full, I tear the page out. And then I cut them up into like postcard size. Um, so that's what this is made out of. So it had quite a bit of stuff on the background to begin with. Um, I put on the burlap. Here's a piece of fabric. This is, I don't know, a die cut, a mushroom, a butterfly, and hope. Again, doesn't really rhyme no reason. It's just what I felt like doing. Um, I had a foot. <laughs> I stuck a cake on top. Um, okay, just says lucky. Again. I just enjoy playing. This, apparently I had two of them, which I didn't realize I used them in the same book. Yeah, right here. Here's the other one. Um, so this one I just stuck in here and put a kitty cat there, and that was that. And it just says passion. The end. <laughs> like Shannon Green says, the end. Um, this, I had this piece of paper out of a magazine that I stuck down here. Uh, again, I had a little birdie, and I had this guy here. This came out of an art journaling magazine or something, you know, again, a Somerset studio, something of that nature. I cut him out, and I put she and him. Doesn't make any sense. Whatever, it doesn't have to. Um, this is the back cover. This was a tag that I had actually received in a swap a few years ago. Um, so I stuck it down here. I put this piece of magazine over top of it. Kind of looked like a wall to me. And then I had this little guy. He came out of a Flow magazine. And he's taking a picture. No words needed for that. It just, it to me, it just flowed. And that's the way it is. And then my rear cover. I didn't put anything on other than, you know, this is some jelly prints or leftover stencils. Um, some envelope that I had done some jelly prints on. And... That's it. So there's the first one. Um, like I said, this you know these will go in my junk journal book. I gotta date it. Actually, I'll do that one while I'm sitting here because if I don't, I'll forget. And I just put my initials, the month, and the year. CU nine seventeen. So there's this one. Where's my other one? All right, this one here. Um, this one. 
is a little bit different. This, let's see if I can get it closed right. It's thick now. All right, this is one of the very first journals I ever made, junk journals. Um, I've got a very thin piece of string here, which keeps moving. And I have these two rows of beads on it, okay? And then I have a string attached here that comes around, and this is a um, button that I had made, and I'll just explain to you how I did that. And then this used to go around a couple times when it wasn't full. It was a very thin, but now it's full, so it just sits there once, and it sticks. Um, this is made by taking a punch and taking a whole bunch of cardboard. This actually only has two or three on it. Punch them out the same size. I punched the holes in them, all of them. Um, and then glue a bunch together and you get that thick like um, button and then just throw some paint on them um, then I did some dots and then I put some crystal uh, glossy accents over top of it to give it that shiny and that's it that's how I made these buttons all right um, the outside is covered in a fabric this fabric um, I can't remember now where I found it uh, but I, I just fell in love with it actually if you guys have watched me at all um, or seen me create on the couch my pillows are covered in this on my couch so I had some left over and I just decided to put a journal together and bring out just a little bit because I don't want to all right so again this is a junk journal it's put together with tissue boxes and just plain junk anything that you would normally throw away um, a flower with a button. Again, this is one of my doodles I talked about at night. This is um, a border out of a magazine, and this is a couple of uh, leaves that I had stamped of dilutions. Put it all together, there it is. This, uh, this here is actually a tissue box, and this is the plastic portion of it. And I made this tag. Uh, it just says, live simply, live abundant. This is a you know, again, here's one of my doodles. Um, this is a, a stamp I have. And then I just stick that right in here. So in that tissue box. All right, and then I stapled a piece of ribbon on top. This is, this tag um, actually came to me from RW. I'm not sure who that is, but thank you, thank you, thank you. It's in my grab and glue just says for you. I took the back of it. Um, this is a piece of, actually this was an envelope from um, Jenny Belly. I had purchased some stuff from her and that was the envelope. I made this little pocket out of a piece of paper. Um, I did this tag. This is a stamp I have. Did a couple of just random stamps here, a piece of paper, a um, couple X's and stuck it down in here. And then it says, enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. And that is so very true. So, so very true. Um, odds and ends. This is a napkin back here. Just some, um, just some random papers. I drew all these stars on here. This is a Gina Aarons stamp um, that I had one of these little guys. And then this came off a calendar I had last year. Just says cherish. Nothing crazy. This is one of those plastic things that I never know what to do with. I, I, I just Same with vellum. I'm not a vellum person. I just have a problem with it. So anyways, this is just a plastic thing I stuck down on a piece of scrapbook paper, put a couple extras, a heart, and a, another heart here. And it just says wonder. To be curious about, think about, wish to know wonderful things. Um, this is a Simply Gorgeous stamp. It says simple. Just some odd and end things. Um, butterfly, just a T, don't know why. This was a border I had that I just cut into pieces. This is, um, again, a magazine piece, couple die cuts, a Tim Holtz card. This is Gina's stamp says I am. And then I had this, this is like a, a photograph thing where like in scrapbooking you put a picture in this and put it on a thing, on a, sheet on a layout and I didn't want to do that so this guy I had cut out of a magazine this is just something I had punched I don't even know it's some kind of a some kind of a fabric 
um, just a couple, these are steps actually, if you look at them, they go this way, they're steps. Just put them behind them as a column. And then I stuck him in here, just as I am. Um, this is a printer. I don't know how I got this. This paper was printed. I don't even know what it is. This is a Gina Aaron stamp. Just, that's it. That's all I wanted there. Another pocket. Um, as you can tell, it's a, it's a used envelope or an old envelope that I put in here. So I made a pocket. This is just a card, a playing card that had the number five on it. I stuck this bird on, which I have, um, the stamps and I can't remember. I don't know if this is a Dina Wakely or a Tim Holtz. I'm not sure. Um, little feather here, round circle just says faith. Um, stuck that in here. <clears throat> this I was having a bad day. It says everyone has a rainy day and actually I think I was doing this on rainy day and rain is not good with chronic pain. Well at least my chronic pain. So it was a rough day. But just you know leftover pieces. Um, here and there. That's a napkin that's left over. Um, and just play. This um, I actually purchased, I don't even remember where now, a long time ago I purchased a sheet of these ladies with the words and stuff on them. It says memories, the ability to remember, capacity to retain or recall, which is learned or experienced. That which is created as present becomes past. Um, you know, this was stickers. It has an Avery label on it, so it was stickers. And just, just play. This is a double page spread. Um, this is just a piece of cardboard. It's probably some type of a packaging. I'm not really sure. But um, I put this little piece of uh, fabric down through here. Again, a doodle. Another doodle. Um, this stamp I have. Let let your color be your magic just because okay and then I just I don't know it is it is um, this came off a, re uh, a restaurant um, kids menu word search I don't know I just stuck it there I don't know some of these I don't know they just this is what happens <laughs> this is Charlie's place this is up in Clinton New York and um, it's really good food really good food so I just stuck that there. See, so, see, you can tell when I'm traveling because sometimes you'll find stuff like this or I'll find stuff like this in my um, grab and glues. There, this is a pocket, again, another envelope. This is a pocket that I put this notebook paper on, um, just a little border. This is a dilution stamp and take time to be happy. Take time to make happy memories. And that's it. Yeah, this is an old tissue box, I believe, or some type of a packaging for a kid's toy or something. I don't know. But I decided not to do anything on the back of that. This is just a piece of fabric. Um, I'll take fabric and I'll tear it into strips. Love it. And there it is. This guy actually came off a menu as well. A little stamp that says hi. And I got a couple strawberries and a leaf here. Just some doodle borders. Okay, this um, I think is a Tim Holtz stamp. Yeah, forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. Um, chin up, I just took him, I colored him with alcohol inks, stuck him on this tag. Actually, I made this into a tag. Um, came in something, who knows. And then he has this little pocket here. And what it says is all I'm asking is sympathy. Okay. Again, same thing with the fabric. This is from a Tim Holtz um, paper dowels, I believe he calls it. Just says love. I took a couple roses out of a magazine. This is um, just a piece of uh, paper, Italian, whatever, on the back that I put down. Then I put the roses on. Then I put this family on. And, and then I just put love. And the butterfly. This is a piece of painted paper um, when Shannon Green was doing... Oh, I can't remember what she called them, but she said they were a lot like crack. Pardon me. Um, and we kept doing them over and over and over again. So that's what this is. This is a stamp from Mike Deacon. Um, he has a set of stamps, so that's really cool. That's one of his stamps. Here's another one of his, Faith. And again, the same paper. And it's just, you know, it's very simple. Um, these were actually done black and white, and then I just took... Um, 
call them Bible highlighters. I wish I can show you what they are. They're right here. These guys, um, I use these all the time. This one's a point stick. This one is a M-U-N-G-Y-O, a solid highlighter. Um, and this is what I use. Um, okay, here's the Bible journaling highlighters. And I just use them and throw a little color down. And this is the case I usually take with me because it does have the highlighters. I have a little bit of um, metallic if I need it um, and just some odd end pens. But that's what, how I did this here. Um, this, I just stuck down this piece of notebook paper. This is a Dina Wakely stamp. Um, being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect. It means you've decided to see beyond the imperfections. And I just thought that was just, that's all it needed was that. So there's that one. Here's that same um, tissue box. So this was one signature right here. Um, this is a Diane Reevely uh, stamp. This is a Gina Aaron stamp. So it's beautiful. And I just stamped her out and colored her with alcohol inks probably and just played. Um, this is a little file folder that's in here. Again, this is just a piece of tape. This is a piece of um, texture that I had left over from some project that I had done. Um, put the doodles on top. Just a couple um, punches that I have and a little butterfly and black cat out of a magazine. This is, if you guys saw me uh, a few months ago, I was making stamps as a challenge. And this is one of the pieces of paper that I had punched the stamp out of. Um, of course, I kept all these, so I thought that was a cool little frame. This is Gina's Elephant and Little Birdie stamp. And then with love. That's all it is. This I happened to see in a magazine. I had cut it out. Here's a piece of, um, that's that drywall tape. And then I saw this that just said family. There we go. Perfect. So, you know, some of them, when you're doing your grab and glue books, they don't have to be this big, huge, complicated thing. Okay. I took a piece of painted paper left over, stuck it down. I stuck this on. I found this. I'm like, all right, cool. That goes there. Now, I didn't find this family for a while. I would still continue to keep going on my book. And then I saw this and I'm like, oh, I know where that'll go. Boom. There it is. And the page is done. So um, don't think of a grab and glue as something you have to sit down and get it all done at once because that's not how the grab and glues work, okay? Um, this is a stamp that I have I absolutely love. And then I had this die cut. It says praise, and I felt that was enough. This I colored with um, glitter pens. I don't know if you can see the glitter on it or not. Probably not, but that's done with glitter pens. This, um, again, I have a leftover jelly print here. I found this, and it says, Imagine a place like no other that promotes learning, connectivity, health, and personal growth. We've included everything you could desire for an active, creative, and vibrant life. Why just live when you can live better? That came out of a magazine. It was an ad for something, some product. I don't know. I just saw that, cut it out, stuck it in my grab and glue envelope. I'll use that someday. So there it is. Um, this is, as you can see, it's an old envelope. And there's a pocket here that has a tag in it. Here's the tag. It's just a plain old white piece, piece of uh, cardstock. Or not cardstock. This is scrapbook paper um, that I just cut into the shape of a tag. And then I had this stamp and I stuck it down here. I don't know why she's got such pink cheeks. Just because she needed them. It says, I am perfect just the way I am. I left her black and white against the colored background. I just thought it made her stand out. I don't really want to color her. And then... Um, piece of black strip of fabric I stuck in the hole and there is a tag that goes in there um, and I didn't do anything on the back I could have I didn't feel like it so I didn't here's another one I love these girls these girls are just so cool celebrate beautiful just played around with them I like them they're cool um, this is a picture of a jelly print that, I'm sorry, excuse me, an acrylic pour that Gina had sent to me, one of her acrylic pours. Dream. That's it. Um, a vision. Again, this is one of those plastic things. 
A visionary creation of the imagination, something not notable for its great beauty, excellence, or enjoyable quality. So very simple. A couple black lines, it's all good. Um, let's see. This is just something out of a magazine. This is an ink splotch that I had punched out of one of my jelly prints. A little seven, don't know where it came from, a stamp. It says your day. A little flower um, that I stuck here. And this is um, some kind of a, like a foil edging type thing that I have. Stickers. So I stuck that down there. And that's it. Uh, Diane Reevely, I believe. Stamp. This is just a piece of a sweater texture that I liked. So I cut it out as a background. Stuck that there. Had no idea what else I was going to put on this page. And like I said, I go through my books. I'm like, oh, this guy will go here. That kind of looks like coral. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and then, you know, a couple bubbles and just something to contrast. And then I took a gold glitter pen and just did him here and there in gold glitter. And I put a top hat on him. So like I said, these are all just, just play, 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 play. They don't have to make sense, right? Um, don't know where I got that. Probably a swap is my guess. This was a file folder that I had stuck in this journal. Had this die cut. Um, this is a raven bird. I thought it was really cool because it looks like his eye is red right there, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I stuck him in the cage. Um, I found these letters, soul, and it says sleeping in the clouds. That's it. A little bit of doodle around the edges, you know, doodle in the cage, that's it. There it is. Stamp I have. Um, I don't know how you guys do it, but what I will do, let me see if I can find them, yeah, got them right here. Um, when I have stamps, I will go into a stamp day. And this, actually, this is one of my grab and glue bags. Um, I get my stamps out and I just stamp. And I have a heck of a time stamping. I just enjoy the day, playing music, and just stamping with all kinds of stamps. And then what I'll do is I'll stick them in a bag like this. And this is the bags that I was talking about um, for my grab and glue. I'll stick them in a bag like this. Then when I'm looking for an image, I just have to pull it out of the bag. I can not color it or I can color it. That's where these little ladies came from. Um, so it just, you know, this is huge for me when it goes to grab and glue because I love to use my stamps and if I, I don't want to sit and get all my ink out and no, so I just grab and there you go. Um, old book text leftover pieces I stuck in there, this stamp and then I just outlined her in purple. That was it. No words, no nothing. It's just, there she is. Um, National Geographic, little clay guy or terracotta guy. Um, this is just a piece of paper from a magazine that I stuck on as a background. This is a little piece of cork board that I have that's um, meant for crafts. Out of a calendar. What? This is a doorknob um, that I cut out of a book, out of a magazine. And it just hangs out there. It is what it is. <laughs> um, this is washi tape on the background. Um, some leftover book pep, um, scrapbook paper, piece out of a magazine, and then this girl, which is one of my stamps, says be grateful. Here we have another pocket. Um, this one actually has two different tags in it, I'll show you, but I found this picture in a magazine. This is old scrapbook paper I had put down here, and I thought that's just really cool. And that was it. That's all that's there, and then I put this little piece here for a tab although I don't need the tab. Now there's two pockets in this, or there's two, wait a minute. Yeah, there's two tags in this. This is actually part of the pocket, which is right here, but there's two tags in this pocket. I have one going this way, which is up top, and here's the one that's up top. Um, again, this is a stamp. This is just pieces of scrap paper and leftovers, whatever, that I stuck down on a piece of cardstock. Okay. I painted her with um, alcohol inks. So that goes this way in the pocket. And then I have one off to the side, which is here. And this one is friendship. Now this I did a little bit different. I just tied a knot on one end 
and just put it through so I can pull the tag out. But this is Friendship. Again, this is a stamp. I don't think this is one I have. This is one I was sent. Um, and then on the back side, I just picked this up. I love this little tape. Again, a kitty cat. It just says Trust, and there's a llama. So this one actually goes into the pocket this way. So I have here and here. All right. Uh, let's see, leftover jelly print, some washi tape, this guy, which I can't remember the name. Actually, let me grab that. Hold on. All right, I found these when I was at a stamp show, and this is the name. It's E-L-E-N-A-Z-I-N-S-K-I -E -E Art. It says they're from Paper Artsy. Um, and this is the set of stamps. I just fell in love with these stamps. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> I just fell in love with them. Anyways, so that's this guy. He was in my stamp pile. Whoops, get out of there. Um, I just took him, put him on, cut him out. Um, just did a little bit of purple and blue, and there he is. Um, this is... I think that's Tim... I'm not positive. These are either Dilutions or Tim Holtz. I'm not sure. I think these are Dilutions, to be honest with you. Kitty Cat. Um, I just put Never Stop. Uh, this is an old jelly print that I put down with a little bit of washi. Just different. I didn't put anything on this one. It's okay. This is just a piece of um, uh, so either telephone book or something that somebody had sent to me that I put down there. And this is some new washi that I got. It says, beautiful day, but co first coffee, which that's me. Um, Gina Aaron's, this was done on, I think, uh, coffee stained paper. This is just a butterfly that says ever on it. It's okay. This guy here, um, I put down some washi tape, and then I had, you guys have seen me take paper and fabric and, and sew it all together. That's what's underneath. That's what all this is underneath him. Then I took this little birdie, stuck him down, and a flower. I want to put a little gem right there in that flower. I just haven't done that yet. Um, there he is. Cheers. This, um, I just held this in with a couple paper clips just because I didn't feel like sticking it down. I didn't put anything. This is a tag that I was given, I believe, during a swap. Um, and it says, infuse your life with art. That's that. And then this little girl, um, my sister actually gave me a long time ago a bunch of old um, season greeting cards that had these little girls on them. And on the bottom it said greetings she had on this really long dress. Um, I just decided she needs something down here. Anyways. Um, here she is, and it says there's a reason for it all. And that's it. All right, so I hope you guys um, enjoy these. I, like I said, I I love doing them. I, I'm always doing grab and glues. They're just a lot of fun. Um, it also gives you a way to use up a bunch of those little bitty pieces <laughs> that we're all, you know, saving. Let me show you since this is like an like an educational grab and glue these little pieces like you know like I have these little birds you know something like this um, here's a little piece of just a ticket you know these are fantastic for grab and glues and that's usually what's in this drawer is just all little pieces like right here you can't throw that away that'll look great on a grab and glue okay here's another one square you can't you, don't throw that away that's just a little pop of color so anyways um this is what i use on my grabbing glues here's a little bitty tiny see it so it's fun here's a little piece of ribbon or something that i've used that'd be great on a grabbing glue so all those little it's and bits i call these my minis um that's what i use in the grabbing glue and i just i find that I have fun doing these because I can use up those little bits and pieces and 
I just, I enjoy them. I enjoy them. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this, this uh, grab and glue session. Um, like I said, there's more to come. There's always going to be more to come. And um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below because I'll be glad to answer them for you. All right. Uh, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.